this is also a burglary uh, blow suspect. Blow uh, he's uh, he's about to break into a car. We're watching him and we call the officers on. You'll see the glass go up in the air here in a second. He's breaking into the window to see oh, the glass. Yeah. Just and so, to make a long story short, we call the officers uh, out and they uh, captured him. You know, that's a, another thing that we do there. You're watching a video of an actual car break-in recorded from a Dallas Police Department wireless surveillance camera. The Dallas system is considered one of the most successful deployments of a fixed mesh, IP-based wireless network for urban security. Its vendor, FireTide, claims it is the largest all-wireless city surveillance network in the U.S. During the 2010 As Is International Seminar and Exhibits, the Dallas PD, FireTide, ONSSI, and Systems Integrator Bearcom hosted a tour of the Video Surveillance Operations Center at Dallas City Hall. Security Squared went along. Dallas Police Department here. We run a 24-7, 365 dispatch and 911 center. About three years ago, John got with West End Association and Downtown Dallas Inc. nonprofits and they were able to provide funding. The equipment that's on the back row is the funding that was, you know, that was provided with that initial funding. And they started with how many cameras, John? Forty. Forty cameras. And so now we're at about 115 cameras. And we're only accepting new ones in what we call the tag areas, the areas where the violent crime is the, is the worst. But we know that this technology changes behavior. It also provides safety for citizens and it provides safety for our officers. Pan tilt zoom cameras, along with power packs and antennas, are mounted on street light and traffic signal poles. The cameras cover downtown Dallas and outlying areas of Uptown, Jubilee Park, and Jefferson Boulevard. The mesh wireless system permits both redundancy and efficient use of radio bandwidth by balancing load intelligently among the many routers and nodes of the network. Dallas Police Department deployment is a great testament to the flexibility and expandability of MESH. All done over the years, in stages, when funds became available to the Dallas Police Department. So they could expand the network very easily to different areas without completely re-engineering the network. Because the more MESH nodes you add to the network, the more capacity you've added illustrating the concept of distributed wireless Ethernet switch. The Dallas PD credits the network as instrumental in reducing street crime, vandalism, and theft. This video shows a suspect robbing an ROTC soldier who had an apparent seizure outside the bus station in downtown Dallas. He becomes ill and uh, he's having a seizure and this guy comes up to him and like he's going to help him but actually he's robbing him. If we, zo we zoomed in and we saw that this guy was actually taking his wallet and his property off of him. So to make a long story short, due to us watching this particular location, the very next morning we saw the same guy and we called an officers out there and they arrested him. So you can see how bad that is. This guy's down having a seizure and this guy comes and takes his money off of him. So. The Dallas PD says the surveillance cameras have resulted in more than 2,100 arrests in 2010 alone. Overall crime has dropped 35% in the downtown area and 59% in Jubilee Park since 2007, the year the first cameras came online. In addition to fighting crime, the cameras can also be an important source of information in emergencies and accidents, such as in the case here. We also uh, uh, work with the traffic division to watch major accidents. Fortunately, the motorcyclist was able to walk away. It actually act, operates pretty quickly. They are monitoring channel one where all of our cameras are uh, in the downtown area. And a lot of times before the operator or before the officer even gets to the location, we've already viewed the uh, pending calls up there and gone to that actual location and saw either the suspect before the, the, the police even gets there. So it works out pretty good for, uh, for the safety of the police officers and having uh, camera activity where we can go back and even prior to the incident happening.
we could go back and look at uh, Show footage those to show. That, uh, the next step is to deliver video to portable devices that police and first responders uh, carry. Uh, with software from Lextech Labs, staff can transmit images from the operations center's ONSSI Ocularis video management system to iPhones and iPads on the street. And this is very, very popular within the Department of Justice, uh, where the standard within that environment, especially within covert opportunities, so that deploying cameras, being able to very quickly jump into a mode where you can be reviewing video on one side of the screen while watching live video on the other side. So, did he put the drugs in his right pocket? You know, what color hat did he have on? What did the guy look like without taking eyes off of, you know, the live situation that's going on right now? And part of what we've done within the software is to tie security into it. So we add another layer of authentication before you can get to video because you know, privacy and security is, is utmost in the type of systems that we're dealing with. Ease of use, you don't need training to be able to use this. You don't need to be able to you know, the, be the video professional. You can you know, uh, be a business person. You can be a person that wants to use video but not have to know how to you know, video works, basically. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Ah, there's the iPhone over there. Yeah, there you go. So well, you, can put, you can put that yeah, same... Awesome information. But He's got it right there. The camera so we have a common interface among the, the platforms. Yeah, that so that's one learning curve. Um, multiple videos, situational awareness. And the other thing that we do that has never been done before that we know of is that we optimize the bandwidth, the video going down to the thin network devices so that we're not taking a fire hose and trying to shove it down a coffee straw. So we know how to tell ONSSI slow your video feed down. I can't ingest video that quickly. And what that means is the time latency between the camera seeing something and it showing up on here is hundreds of milliseconds rather than hundreds of seconds old. So if you're monitoring a guy behind the corner with a gun, you know that's as close to real time as possible. So it, it is truly a life and death situation tool and that's why you know, the, if we're being adopted the way we are across different law enforcement agencies, different school systems and uh, professional video organizations. Dallas has a great um, statistic, has great statistics to show the effectiveness of the system in terms of the number of the camera calls that were placed to dispatch or received by the camera unit, in terms of arrests, uh, uh, drug, um, drug seizures, gun seizures. So it's a great example of a proactive and effective use of video surveillance system in a municipal setting. Uh, our patrol uh, division just snaps to it. They, they recognize when we say video one is calling and they get out there and usually they know because we've got uh, trained officers that it's a good offense. A lot of times we'll go, he's got it in the left pocket. No, you're looking in the wrong pocket. <laughs> you know? So uh, it's a lot of things. And then they say, well, if, they don't, if, if they've done something with it, we've got the footage to show you know, exactly what they were doing five minutes before. So it works out real good for us. This is Stephen Titch for Security Squared.